we're here to talk about hand postures today or mudras. But I wanted to start by kind of going through why we're even here today, what, what this workshop series is all about and why you signed up for it if you signed up for the full series. So a lot of times in class, um, we'll be on the mat and I might be talking about a certain topic and th there's just not enough time to get into the details on hand postures or on something like chakras or something like that. So it is good to have time off the mat to talk about some of this stuff and to answer questions and to kind of get all the background so that when you're practicing, you know a little bit more about what you're doing. And the topics that we're going to be looking at this year are actually topics that about this time last year I did a survey and these are the things that people requested most. They were the things that they had the most questions on, wanted to learn more about. So for this year we have scheduled this one on hand, hand gestures. Uh, the next one in June is on the phases of the moon. Uh, the one in August will be on energetics like chakras or and not, not or and uh, nadis and meridians, all of the energetic parts of your body that things that get talked about, but they don't really get explained. Um, and then in November, it's the um, eight limbs of yoga, just a really broad brush on the philosophy of yoga, why we do certain things, uh, what it means to lead a yogic lifestyle. Um, so these were the, the four topics that came up the most often. And they all are sort of things that aren't that don't have a whole lot to do with the physical body. We're gonna be moving our hands today, but it, the energy we're working with is really something a little more subtle. It's not something that you can see or measure necessarily um, with the naked eye. So um, it's definitely something that <laughs> is a little too complex to get into during a one hour yoga class. So um, you, we have this presentation tonight uh, and I'll talk a little bit more at the end, but there'll be supplemental recordings and practices that go along with this. We're gonna be doing just a little bit of um, practice with our hands tonight. Um, and then the opportunity to, to see how these things can become part of a yoga class. How does that work too? So we'll talk about that a little bit more at the end, but that's what subtle self-care is all about. These are ways that you can take care of yourself. And I believe that you don't need um, to set aside an hour to, to take a yoga class to do these things. These are things that you can, you know, sit at your kitchen table and do, or you could be sitting at a traffic light. And if you wanted to shift your energy in a certain way, um, you could try a hand posture to do that. Um, and that's what I like about these. So that's what subtle self-care is all about. Mm -hmm.